Hello and welcome to Fenextra TV's Thought Leadership Series. I'm Hannah Wallace and kindly calling into our virtual studio now is the CEO of Open Bank, Ezekiel Asifa. So welcome Ezekiel, thank you very much for calling in. Thank you very much, it's a pleasure to be here with you today. Well, it's a pleasure to have you on. Now, recently we've been covering a lot of stories around the impact of COVID-19 and that's really where I want to start today. What's your view on banking and what role does it play in society, especially as a result of the unprecedented times we are currently living through due to COVID? Yeah, so uh, definitely. I think on, on COVID, you know, though I'm super tired of covering COVID because we are all a bit exhausted of COVID and, um, and I like to think that it's going to be over soon. But the reality is that actually uh, COVID showed uh, the value of uh, full digital banking. So in our case, I think uh, what happened in society is that, um, uh, you know, we realized how uh, important is banking for our everyday life, our ability to uh, pay. And, and um, in that sense, um, I think digital banking showed that uh, it's making a difference. And, and in the case of Open Bank, as you know, we're fully digital. So our customers were able to uh, go through COVID. Actually, our business uh, basically did not suffer basically with, with COVID, which is very impressive. Uh, but more, I think more relevant is the long term. Uh, clearly, the role of banking in society is the same role it had, I think, for the last many hundred of years, um, which is, you know, I think banking started to be relevant the first day uh, the world came, uh, started living in small towns and mm. somebody wanted to put a, you know, a, a, a seed and had to wait until that seed became a plant and then uh, make some uh, production out of it. That's working capital. So since we have working capital, we need banks. Banks are part of the flywheel of society. And as such, um, a bank needs to be a part of that flywheel. And to be part of the flywheel needs to enable at least uh, lending. Uh, so you need to be able to borrow from your bank, uh, to invest, uh, so the money comes back into the system, and to pay. And that's, I think, uh, what digital banks should look like in the future. That's how Open Bank looks today, which is it's a full bank, a bank where you can save, you can invest, you have robot advisory, we have brokerage, uh, where you can uh, borrow. So we do lending in two clicks. So that's a bit, I think, where, uh, where banking should be. Uh, we're very obsessed with the Open Bank, with our ability to uh, help society uh, with our uh, role, which is, for example, we are able uh, to launch the initiatives. For example, we have a, a charity marketplace that's unique, and, and we would be super proud and happy if other banks would copy it. So if you're a client of Open Bank, you have a, a, a charity marketplace where you can go select uh, your charity by type, you know, uh, war zones, uh, helping children, hunger in the world. And they have all the small and big and, and super large uh, charities. They're all there. You can select and we will take care of the rest. You just decide how much money you want to donate per year, per week, per month. And we take care of uh, making the transfers. We take care of the receipt for your taxes. We can also link the charities to your uh, cards. So when you pay, you round up to the euro. You decide how much per month and then you are uh, you're actually uh, donating. And making donations so easy because we are a node in between charities and people. We increased this year by 38% the amount of money that customers of Bank are donating. So um, I think uh, banking can make society better in so many ways, in so many ways. All right, so you've touched on Open Bank's vision there already a bit, especially in the context of innovation. So what does innovation mean to Open Bank and how has technology helped you innovate and differentiate? I think uh, uh, what I love of technology is that uh, the revolution we're living today in banking is fully enabled by technology, and that's, that has not been in the past. I mean, in the past, uh, innovation came through business models. Uh, what I like to think is that today, uh, the first challenge we have for banking in general, we need to learn how to keep doing the same thing we have been doing for many hundred years, which is proper banking, uh, but without uh, the need of extensive branch networks. So uh, the same way Amazon does what Walmart does without the need of, of big stores uh, around the country. For us, it's very similar. We open bank, we do banking the same way other banks, but without branches. And that's why we attract, we engage, and we retain our customers fully digitally. All right. So as an innovator and change maker then in banking, why did you select Temenos as your partner for change? Let's talk a bit more about that. The, basically, I think, um, and if we talk about a bit about technology, um, you know, in the past, technology for banking. So banks have been, uh, I think, innovating and in the forefront of technology for the last you know, hundred years. Um, definitely, if you see what the latest technologies have always been there in banks. Um, we, we were the first adopters of big mainframes, then moving to servers. 
So uh, technology is part of the story. And at Open Bank to deliver this future of that we're living today, of being able to attract, engage, and retain customers with our branches, and um, and having a, as we have a profitable business model where we grow our fees, where we have a positive net interest income, uh, we needed to redefine uh, the technology we operate on. So the technology we're operating today uh, is totally different from the past. It's fully cloud-based. Uh, we have um, decoupled what in the past was a monolithic core infrastructure into a, a proper front that is all based on, on microservices and it's a totally cloud-based. We have a, a data layer that can a, treat a data real time. And then for the core functions, which is how we manage the bank, uh, we need to go for solutions that were flexible, that could be connected via API networks and that it could be in the cloud. And when you put all those together, there are not many core banking suppliers that can do that. So mm -hmm. um, we looked at 29 of them with a very extensive search and Temenos uh, fit uh, the description really well. They operate in the cloud, they're flexible, uh, they have some functionalities that uh, makes creating new products much faster and easier, go to market is faster, and uh, it can be all connected to APIs in the cloud. So it's just a perfect match for our vision of technology. All right, so finally then, what are your plans for the future as you grow and continue to make banking better? Good, so uh, in the immediate future, we are going to uh, keep growing uh, the model we have. It's a full digital model. Uh, I know we're expanding internationally to new countries. So we have opened already uh, three more countries in Europe. So we are in Spain. We opened Germany, the Netherlands, and Portugal. Uh, we have just had a, our infrastructure approved to operate by the central bank in Argentina. And I think the, the, um, the innovative part of this is that we are operating for those five countries, five markets, every market with their regulation. We are operating a single software, single uh, code base, single app. So we have the same app that uh, is uh, up and running in five countries. It's offering different products, is compliant to different regulations, and it's still a single, uh, a single source uh, code. Um, our plan is to continue growing in this direction. We're going to, of course, leverage our integration with the, the consumer finance division uh, within the group. And, uh, and it's super exciting because we're bringing uh, very, very good banking services to our customers. We're bringing uh, competitive services all across the board, uh, internationally, all from, uh, all from a single uh, software. Well, I think it's safe to say, watch this space, some exciting times ahead. But as equal, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you so much for calling in. It's been really informative. Thank you. Thanks to you, Hannah. Bye-bye.